Napa Valley's rich winemaking history began well before the California Gold Rush. In the late 1830s, George Yount, founder of the town of Yountville, planted the first commercial vines in the valley. Ever since, a host of immigrants, pioneers, visionaries, and risk takers have made their way to the valley and have contributed to the region's rich and colorful history. The first vintners to come to Napa Valley were Europeans, like Jacob Schramm, Jacob Berenger, Gustav Niebaum, and Charles Krug, all eager to try their hand at making wines to rival and surpass those of their homelands. These were the pioneers of the Napa Valley wine industry. In 1861, Charles Krug planted 540 acres to grapevine and started Napa Valley's first commercial winery. The valley experienced its first boom in the 1860s and 70s as more than 140 wineries flourished here. That big boom was followed by the big bust at the end of the 19th century. Phylloxera, an insect that devastated the vineyards of Europe, arrived here. In just 12 years, planted vineyards went from 16,000 acres to just 2,000. Coming on the heels of World War I, the Volstead Act, better known as Prohibition, meant that only a handful of wineries were able to stay in business by making sacramental wines. Most vines were taken out, and agricultural land was either converted to other crops, like walnuts or plums, or used for cattle grazing. After the repeal of Prohibition from 1933 to the mid-60s, a new group of pioneers like Georges de la Tour, Andrew Chelichev, John Daniels, the McRae's, Joe Heitz, and Robert Mondavi started to reinvent the wine business of Napa Valley. The Napa Valley Vintners was founded by seven wineries in 1944 with the idea that if they worked together, the stronger the industry would be. This idea still runs on today. This valley has been shaped by numerous immigrant groups. European and Chinese in the late 1800s, and Hispanic workers from the mid-1900s. All are part of the fabric that makes the Napa Valley what it is today. And then came the Paris tasting of 1976, which was a turning point both for Napa Valley and for California, because Napa Valley wines for the first time were blind tasted in this tasting, and they prevailed among the standards of excellence for Cabernet and Chardonnay. It gave credibility to uh, California wines that they had never ever had before. One great aspect of the Napa Valley is the incredible spirit of cooperation and unity of purpose. It's a powerful combination that exists here. That shared vision is one of continuing improvement both in the field and in the winemaking and in the marketing practices, all attainable through this amazing spirit of cooperation that exists here in the Napa Valley. Thank you.